Dr. Amy. It's time for another Tuesday tip. So this month in Genetic Rockstars, we're talking about hormones, mostly because in the podcast, we're also talking about hormones and the questions keep coming up. So let's talk. First off, one of the reasons why modern society, not just people with MTHFR, but modern society has so many troubles with hormones, it's not that we're suddenly making so many more or whatever, it's that so it's not our internal body production. It's all of the hormones that are coming in from outside. So, so many chemicals that we use now, chemicals and substances, mimic hormones in the human body. And that's the big problem. It's not like, you know, all of a sudden women forgot how to have normal cycles and men started doing these crazy estrogen things. No, no, no. It's that we are surrounded by estrogens constantly. So these estrogens that are a problem are called xenoestrogens. Xeno meaning coming from outside the body, right? Like, so this is all of the estrogens that are coming in from outside. The biggest culprit or one of the biggest culprits in modern society is plastics. Anything that's used as a plasticizer, meaning like it makes plastic softer, is actually estrogenic. And those estrogens are a little bit harder for your body to deal with than the average estrogen. So, you know, like this is harder for your body than the estrogen that you would manufacture or the estrogen that you make internally. Um, in terms of culprits, so we all heard about BPA. There was a big kerfluffle about it. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that next week. But BPA is a plasticizer and it makes these plastics soft. So the softer the plastic is, the more likely it is both to leach estrogens into your food or drinks or body, right? Skin, <laughs> or, um, but also the more likely it is to have a higher content of these plasticizers. Also other culprits for estrogens, phthalates, which are in a lot of beauty care, personal care, creams, lotions, sun cream, toothpaste sometimes, like crazy things, right? Phthalates, um, parabens, those are also in a lot of body care products, methylparaben, propylparaben, whatever. It doesn't matter what it starts with. It's always, it's still a paraben. Um, also, one of the big culprits now are things called forever chemicals because we cannot get rid of them. We cannot eliminate them. Nothing breaks them down. They're accumulating in nature. They're accumulating in water supplies. They're accumulating everywhere. One of the biggest culprits there is something that waterproofs things. So like if you have a tent that's waterproofed, it likely has these forever chemicals sprayed on it. If you have um, shoes that are waterproof, like magically waterproof shoes, yeah, that's magically waterproof because it's saturated with a chemical that makes it so. And that chemical happens to be a forever chemical, incredibly bad for the environment, but also incredibly bad for your body, difficult to get rid of. Likewise with outerwear, right? So like if a waterproof jacket is sprayed with this, whatever it is, these are a big problem as well. So the problem with hormones is not necessarily and not usually the hormones that your body is making. It's the hormones that are coming from everywhere else. And that's why detoxifying hormones and really working on that is such a big part of being healthy in modern society, let alone being healthy with MTHFR, which makes it just that much more difficult to detox. Okay. Okay. Tuesday tip.